What is cracking, guys? It's Unhost here. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today on Minecraft Every Day, we're going to talk about kitty cats. So what we're going to do is find the most reliable and realistic way to capture an ocelot. Now, the reason I'm doing this for today's episode is I was streaming last night, doing some hermitcraft, and uh, I had to get some cats. And getting cats aren't easy, man. They're actually pretty difficult. Now, I actually think I talked about this in one of my LP episodes, about how to get an ocelot very quickly. And this is pretty much the same thing. They cannot run faster than you. They can probably juke you out, but they cannot run faster than you. So if you can just hunt them down, we'll try and get this little bad boy right here. So we'll sneak up on him, we'll throw a lead on him, and now we can actually switch the items in our inventory on our hotbar, and uh, those can be interchanged, which is pretty cool. So you'll still be holding the lead. So the lead's basically attached to you, regardless if it's being held or not. Now our second to last step is just going to be to place a fence. And what you're going to do is you're going to switch back to your lead, and you're going to right-click that fence. So as you can see, we've got him chained up to a fence. Now to be quite honest with you guys, I think I'd actually probably want an ocelot pet over one of the three cats. Now this ocelot, even though it's a wild one, it will still deter creepers. Now I think the hardest thing about catching ocelots is it's very hard to not move much. So half the work is done for you already. He's right by you. All you've got to do is shift and feed him some fish. Simple as that. And that about wraps it up, guys, for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have an excellent rest of the day, and I'll see you guys later. Adios!